Hey YouTube, it's ICU and today I have a very exciting jailbreak tutorial for you guys. It is the iOS 5.0.1 untethered jailbreak tutorial for the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2. The A5 jailbreak is finally here. It's in the form of Absinthe and I will have a link down below to a post on my website and that post has download links to the latest version of Absinthe and once you go to that post and download it, you can simply open it up. Now I'm going to take this time to say that if you have an iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 4th or 3rd generation or even the original iPad, then go to the video that I have down below in the more info because this video will not work for you. Absinthe only works for the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2. You can use Red Snow to get your untethered jailbreak for iOS 5.0.1 on those older iDevices. So to start off, I'm going to show you guys that my iPhone 4S is indeed on iOS 5.0.1. First, I'm going to prove to you guys that it is a 4S. As you can see at the bottom here, I have a band top, I have a band, and on the other side here, I have two band breaks. So we have the top band up here and the bottom band down here. And I also have Siri. What's the weather like today in Los Angeles, California? Okay, well, as you can see, Siri is indeed working. And for the version here down below at the bottom, we are on 5.0.1. So you do know that this is an iPhone 4S on 5.0.1. All right, so inside of Absinthe here, it says, please connect your iPhone 4S or your iPad 2 to begin. So just take your USB cable, plug it into your computer, and then plug it into your 4S or your iPad 2 and iTunes might open up here. If it does, just close out of it. And inside of Absinthe here, you can click Jailbreak. All right, now it's actually beginning the jailbreak and this may take a while. And just to let you guys know, I'm not going to cut anything out of this video. I'm just going to let everything play through. Now, the reason why it's going so fast for me is because I just restored this iPhone 4S. So if you do not have a freshly restored device, it might not go as smoothly for you. But as you can see previously, it did say that it was restoring the device and it does say that to actually get the jailbreak data on the device itself. As you can see, it is waiting for the reboot right now. And I should have mentioned this earlier, but do not unplug your device at all until it is fully done and you do have Cydia. Make sure it stays plugged in. All right, now do not unlock your device. Leave it how it is. Do not touch it right now. As you can see, it says it's sending payload data. This may take a while. Do not touch your device. That includes unlocking it. Do not unlock your iPhone 4S or your iPad 2 until you see this screen where it says almost done. Just unlock the screen if necessary and we will continue once we get this pinwheel to go away on the 4S here. Okay, now we can go ahead and unlock it. As you can see, we swipe over and we have an Absinthe app now. So let's open that up and it might not work for you guys if there is high volume or if there are a high volume number of people trying to actually access this and trying to jailbreak. It might say error establishing a database connection. If that's the case for you, don't worry, you're fine. Still leave it plugged in. And as you can see over here in Absinthe, it says to open up the actual application, but because we can't do that, we're going to do something else. Go inside of settings and you will notice a new option here at the very beginning of settings called VPN or virtual private network. Check that option and just let it do its thing. Once you check that option, you should get an error. That's fine. Click OK and then your device should crash. As you can see here, the 4S did crash 
and it will go through and reboot. As you can see in Absinthe here, it says, please connect your iPhone 4S or your iPad 2 to begin. So the jailbreak did go through properly. We're just going to go ahead and wait for this reboot. You can unplug it now. This is a safe time. All right, as you can see, it says iPhone 4S detected. We're not going to hit jailbreak because it is already jailbroken. So let's just go ahead and slide to unlock. As you can see, we do have Cydia now on the 4S. So let's open Cydia up. It's going to prepare file system and it will actually respring once this is done. So I'm going to actually take this time to show you guys that my iPad 2 is indeed jailbroken on iOS 5.0.1 and it does have Cydia. So let's open this thing up here, take off the smart cover. And as you can see over here, I actually do have Cydia. So let's open up Cydia. Let's actually get out of that mode. Let's open up Cydia here. And we do have Cydia for iOS 5.0.1. At the bottom here for the version, it does say it is an iPad 2, the Wi-Fi model on iOS 5.0.1 with Cydia 1.1.1. So you do know that I have 5.0.1 on my iPad 2 with Cydia, and I did obtain that with Absinthe. Now let's come back to the 4S here, and let's actually go over to Cydia, and we'll say we are a user. And let's just click cancel that. And I'm going to actually scroll down to the bottom here. And at the bottom, it does say iPhone 4S, iOS 5.0.1, Cydia 1.1.1. So I hope you guys liked this tutorial. I hope it helped you guys jailbreak. If it did, please be sure to rate it up. If you have any comments, leave them down below in the comment section. And be sure to hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed for more great videos and jailbreak tutorials. Until next time, this is ICU, signing out.